Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're not from my TikTok, then I highly doubt it, but welcome. My TikTok is to deflate. I have more followers there. <laughs> but yeah, here's how I got A in A level biology. I was 4% off an A star, but I didn't get A star. But I did go from a 6 in GCSE to an A in biology. So here's the video. All right, firstly, I recommend you get organized. Get a folder. This is literally uh, half my work. I have two folders for biology. And stay organized. In my school, my teachers gave me handouts, which was like printouts of the PowerPoint slides that they were running through. I really suggest if you can ask your teacher to email you the PowerPoints because it's really useful to just look through it, see what you were taught because you're being taught what you're going to be tested on. Okay, so um, throughout the lesson, I would just make notes of what the teacher said on this piece of paper and I'll try to understand it. I wouldn't really learn in lesson though. Like in lesson, I wouldn't really learn. I'll just make notes. I'll be quite confused by the end of the lesson sometimes. I'll go home. I'll read through this once just to try to wrap my head around it. Watch a YouTube video, Miss Estridge, shout out to her. Uh, A-level biology help as well is really useful. And I'll, I'll just make uh, random, I'll make a separate set of notes on the YouTube video. And then I'll come back to this and I'll read through it again. And I'll make another set of notes from like my memory. So it'll be kind of like blurting, but I'll try to make, make it make sense. And make another set of notes from my memory of this lesson. So recap what I just said. I'll make notes on the piece of paper in lesson. Come home, read over it, try and understand it. Watch a YouTube video, make separate set of notes from the YouTube video. And then read over this again and make another set of notes off of memory from what I understand from that day's lesson. That will usually take me an hour. That's what I'll do on the day uh, that I got taught it. So I'll do that five days a week. For example, if I had a biology lesson every single day of the week. Now, the day after in my free period, because if you're doing free subjects, I was doing free subjects, I would have two free periods in a day. In one of the free periods that I had, I would literally sit down, read through this all again. So read through the slides again, the PowerPoint slides, and then off of memory again, write down on a piece of paper. So from this set of slides, from this lesson, I'll have one set of notes from the YouTube video that I watched, one set of notes when I did it off by heart, and one set of notes the day after was now recapping the subject before, the day before. Hopefully that makes sense. Now that's what I'll do on the day when it's taught. That's me actually trying to learn it and actually trying to understand the topic because once you understand it it becomes much easier for you now on the weekend on the sunday usually I, I i like to have the saturday as a rest day on the sunday this plus the four of us topics i'm taught that week i would do past paper questions on so you can see that's fully like what my uh folder is combined of it's just the powerpoint slides and sets of notes now this just separates it between my two teachers because our two teachers for the subject this is what this teacher taught and this is what my other teacher taught. Now, for exam season, my revision style changes a bit during exam season, so the one week, the two weeks, when I'm revising for their biology test, the mocks, or the actual A-level. What I do then is, I don't touch the PowerPoint slides no more, because I feel like it takes, me, it takes me like a longer time to read through it and understand it. I watch YouTube videos because they help me understand it much more. If you're not good with like visual and listening, I recommend CGP books. CGP books are really good. And I'll get onto CGP books later in the video. But yeah, I'll watch a YouTube video and I'll make my notes on it, read over the notes, put the notes to the side, and then do pass paper questions from Physics and Maths 2 and most of the time. There's all websites as well, but Physics and Maths 2 was my go-to where I'll do pass paper questions. And biology, when I was doing pass paper questions, a lot of questions I will not get right because the mark scheme is so specific and so random from times that I wouldn't even understand it. So after doing the past paper question, go through the mark scheme and actually see where you've gone wrong. And then this is what I would do. When I when I see like the questions I've got wrong, I'll put a little note on the side of what topic it is that I've got wrong. And I'll go read up about that topic in CGP. So it'll be a different source of revision. It wouldn't just be the YouTube video that I'm using. Hopefully that makes sense. Also with CGP books, I think the CGP books are best when learning required practicals. I don't know why, for me, I prefer using CGP books. I use them when doing uh, when revising for my required practicals. 
I just use YouTube so I could see how the required practical is done. I just I used to do that before the required practical lesson. But when revising for it, CGP was what I used. Hopefully this video was worth your time. I tried to put everything in it and I tried to involve more than my just normal TikTok videos. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know improvements. Like feel free to comment any constructive criticism that you have and I'll try work on it. I'm trying my best. My mouth is in pain when I'm talking. So yeah, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already.